Hello everyone and welcome to CFC Fan TV. Now before we start this video, we are on Patreon, so there is this week's Our Sophie already up, so please go and check that out. And of course, we would always really appreciate your support. And if you like this video that we're doing now, click the subscribe button, uh, subscribe little icon is on the screen now. Uh, now this is time, this is, the week is here for Sophie versus Rory. This is a bad one for me. It's Yes, it is Rory. And um, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna win this one. So we have decided to argue who was our best summer signing. That's right, we've been having a bit of a debate as to who was the best acquisition to join Chelsea in the summer, and unsurprisingly, we've disagreed. Now, I have a bad feeling about this one. I think that I've been doing all right on these Sophie versus Rory's. I think, generally speaking, I've been winning overall, yeah. probably 60-40 in my favour. Totally. But I think I'm going to struggle here, so I'm really going to try and convince you with my thoughts. So, who have you gone for as our best summer signing? So, I have gone for, and well, it's important to remember before we start this, that we think all of our summer signings have done a fantastic job so far, haven't they? So, it, it was hard, but we just had to choose who we thought uh, was, the, was the main man. I have gone for Jorginho. Um, I've got many reasons for this, and well, do you want to now announce who you've gone for, and then I can, yeah. I can continue? Yeah, okay. Um, I, I think Sophie's made an excellent choice, but for reasons I'm going to come on to, I've actually gone for our keeper, Kepa. Which I don't disagree. I don't think he's been a bad player for us this season. I think he's. I don't think he's had too much work to do. So I think actually to argue his Ooh. case that he's been our best signing so far, you can't. You can't say that in the first few games of the season. That oh, he can't had I? Much to do. I can't make my own decisions. No, he, he didn't have much to do, Rory. I've There's got, an I've art got form. video evidence. There's an art form to not hands. having much to do. There's an art form. It's it's it's, no, it's we instilling a confidence well. in your defence. No, we were just. It's being well. a presence. No, we were just as Paolo well. Maldini, the best defender in the world, once said. You shouldn't have to do very much in that position. If you ever have to make a slide tackle, you've made a mistake. Totally. But, like I'm saying, we haven't seen him make any... Actually, he's made one very good save, and that was against Liverpool, which I, which I solely remember. Um, but, but I don't think we've seen you know, his, his, his full potential yet. I don't think we've seen exactly Stop what he can do. Stop cutting my player down. I'm just, just, just worried about your own Okay, player. so I'll give, you, I'll give you my thoughts. The reason I've gone for Jorginho... Now, you guys may be realising this, this in the fan cams uh, at the weekend against Palace. We don't really mention him. We don't say anything bad. We don't say anything good because he literally is just doing exactly what we've wanted somebody in that position to do for so long. We've longed for somebody next to Kante. If you look at the last few years before that, we've had some very good players alongside Kante. If you look at Matic, if you look at Fabregas, but for me, both of those players, we, we thought Matic was too defensive. We thought Fabregas didn't fit in very well there either. Uh, and so what happened is, is that although Fabregas and Matic both did well, you know, for one part of the season, it then all went down towards downhill towards the second half of the season. Jorginho has been the perfect fit to go alongside Kante. Their partnership together, what he contributes to the team overall. Uh, for me, he's not made any massive errors this season. I think that's quite crucial, especially to come on, come into a, get, uh, into a team like Chelsea FC and instantly make, instantly make an impact there. And he started every game for us. So he's been yeah. fantastic. No, I, I don't disagree that Jorginho has been fantastic. I would counter your suggestion that he links up brilliantly with Kante. I think they're two masterful football players and therefore they make it work. But I don't think they're the most natural fit. I think they often would naturally find themselves in the same position and Kante therefore has to play in a slightly different role. Um, mm. That's not, that's not an, uh, anything to do with Jorginho's performance. He's been brilliant. But I don't necessarily think that we can say that they are the perfect fit. I think um, they are. I, I also think, well, we'll see, we shall see. All right. I, I also think that as, as good as Jorginho has been, he hasn't been as valuable as our keeper. How can you say Kepa's... I, I like Kepa. I think, he's, I think he's a good signing. There's obviously a reason why Chelsea wanted to, to give him a seven-year contract. I mean, we very rarely do that with any players, but we know with goalkeepers, we like to sort of keep a little bit of consistency going there. So do you um, know how... Firstly, do you know how difficult it is to find a good keeper? Of course. And secondly, It's also do you very difficult how... to find somebody to go alongside Kante, and we tried for a couple of years to do that. We won the league with some, some of those players. Yeah, you know, but We I won don't the league think... with Fabregas in central midfield. But let's also let's also remember that not only like Kepa is worth his weight in gold because of what he brings to the team, but he's also worth his weight in platinum because we managed to get someone out of the club that we needed out who was a destructive force and a really, really uh, demoralising presence around the club. So not only did Kepa come in and bring his own brilliance to the team, but he also allowed us to get rid of... Uh, 
Thibaut Courtois. He whose name we do not mention. <laughs> so I think that for that for that reason alone, he's coming. He's been as good. He's been as good as as Courtois was on his on his best day at saving shots. But he's also brought something else to the team. He's brought stability. He's brought happiness, and his ball distribution. He's up there with some of our some of our outfield players. He's excellent. Completely agree. But my main concern we bring in a new player isn't to get somebody else out. My my main concern to bring in a new player is the fact that we get somebody in that actually is gonna make a difference in our team, is actually gonna, you know, on the pitch, not something that's going on behind the scenes. Yes, it was it was good to get rid of Courtois in the end because we couldn't ha- continue that situation, but I would rather you came into this argument and said, now, nah, I think that Kepler is is the best sign at summer signing to see them because he made this save, he made that save, he's made an impact. Oh, I can do okay, that. So, okay, so what game, is, what, what game do you think has, has distanced him from, from Jorginho? I, well, I can I can do that. I mean, I mean, the whole point of a goalkeeper is the confidence that they install in that back line. And if you look at the way that the back line are playing, generally speaking, they are they are fantastic. As as mar- uh, marshalling him. Also, I there are times think... when he has made. If you look at the game against Manchester United, he made some brilliant saves. And I, I actually can't think. I think aside from the game against Arsenal, which is now ages ago, first mm-hmm. home game. Aside from that game, I can't think of a goal that I've seen go in that he should have saved. I think he has been beaten once in a in a situation where he would be uh, slightly depressed in his own performance. And apart from that. There is nothing that he has... He has not made one error that has led to a goal. And that is unbelievable. But I think that's the same as Jorginho's performance, really. And there must be a reason Sarri keeps picking him week in, week out. And there are actually other players that haven't had that It does, absolutely. Absolutely. But there's another another thing here. You know, in terms of finding a goalkeeper that can replace Courtois, Mm -hmm. there aren't many. Like, okay. like totally but we try for again we, you know if we're, we're thinking that we, we try to work our, our midfield around Kante that's, that's to me what we do anyway we've mm. not taken him out of the team any time soon we needed somebody to go, to go next to him and f- in every fan cam I did for even when Conte was in charge even before that uh, fans constantly complained about, about Fabregas how he uh, drops off in the last six months of the season and I agree with that and I think actually Jorginho's not really displaying anything of that of that sort, I'm not seeing that. I don't see that happening this way. I think he fits in perfectly with Sari's system, and I actually think a lot of the reasons why Kepa hasn't had too much to do, and why we can't see why he is the world's most expensive goalkeeper at the moment, is because our other signings, you could actually even add, you know, Kovacic in this, you can add the whole midfield in together, are not allowing it to really get that far. Look, the save against Southampton, the same we against, lost a game the yet, save against so... Liverpool, the save against Burnley. They are all world-class saves, and there aren't many other keepers, if any other keepers, that could mm-hmm. do that. If you look at Alisson, who Liverpool signed, everybody thought they signed who the best want. keeper in the world, who we who wanted we want at the time, we don't want any more. Yeah. And I would say that Kepa has had a better season than him. True. Um, you know, Alisson has made one, in particular, huge mistake. He hasn't made any our keeper. It's... it's but I think a lot of that is to do with the fact that we've had such a strong midfield. I mean, it hasn't really... a lot. I think that's what I mean. I think a lot of the mistakes that Fabregas or Matic would have made back when they were playing we're undefeated. for us would have allowed would allowed to, to get that far yeah that's what I mean we're it's undefeated quite... that means that nobody's scoring against us they can't, yeah. we can't be beaten who's stopping us being beaten we're not conceding goals because no it's not it's not a one, one, t- one no, team no of course not but for me team. It's, it's 11 if, players on the pitch if Jorginho can't play if, if say Jorginho say Jorginho got suspended can't play next I week quite like what Billy. we do is we bring in Kante will play there um, Kante will play you'll then play Kovacic and then probably Barkley. But that will be the team. If our keeper gets injured, what are you doing? Okay, so let's we'll have, we'll get more. Well, are you doing Rob Grill? Like, fingers, what are you doing? Well, we're gonna have to put Willie in there, aren't we? And he's fine. I really like him. Quite a lot actually. And sorry's given him a fair chance this season too. You two. cannot compare you You cannot compare Caballero, this Ca- is go, this this Okay, Caballero is long. terrible. Let's be completely frank here. Caballero. I don't think he is. No, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think uh, Rob Green and the rest of them are a lot yeah, worse watching, than being watching honest. Watching Cavalera in the World Cup. Hopefully, like, that, hopefully that never happens look, again. If, uh, if, if, ca- if, if, if somebody had to be injured next week, so look, saying, somebody if, can't play against Everton, one player can't play against Everton, is that player Jorginho or is that player our keeper? No, I Kepa, think... Kepa or Jorginho, one of them can't play next week. Who's, who do you sacrifice? Well, I'm not sacrificing either. No, but you have to. That's the no, game. No, I don't want to. No, the answer is you, I don't want to. The answer, answer is you sacrifice. You you sacrifice Jorginho. Listen, you bring in Kovacic. And the you bring problem. The problem here is the fact that I think when you're talking about Kepper at the moment, a lot of the reasons I think he hasn't even made to make crucial saves is, is because I think Rudiger and David Luiz their partnership is, is getting a lot stronger. Because of the keeper, you would install confidence. in What your are back you line. talking about? As a keeper, when you have a terrible keeper, defenders play on edge. 
Right, but I thought you were saying the other day that it was Rudiger who was installing that sort of stability there. Uh, they, they, they're all, they're so all, they all do it. Not, but right. look, we've seen, we've seen countless examples of good defenders who turn into bad defenders because they're worried about their keeper behind them. Look, if, if one player is more valuable to this team at the moment, it is our keeper because he is completely irreplaceable. This... This whole video is who was the best signing so far. Yes, not, therefore... Not who, not who is more irreplaceable at the moment. I'm saying that I think Jorginho has offered more to the team so far. Offered more. As in he's had more to do. He's had a harder job. Okay, well, let's find out. So, Why we will we find out from you, you guys, because I'm actually not backing down on no, this one. And I also know that I'm already 1-0 up, because I know my favourite fan, Simon Jorgensen, is out there <laughs> defending my case. That's true. Simon, I'm sorry Do I haven't what? mentioned you yet. Um, you're always, you're always, you know, <laughs> fighting defending me, fighting my corner. Do you know, do you know what, no Soph, what you're actually, you're actually going to be 2 nil up. I can already think of two. Why? There's, who's the other one? There's some guy called Nicholas Goa, or something like that. He hates me. He disagrees with everything he I might, ever say. He might hate me too, though. No, so I'll back you on this. Possible. I'm sure you're back. Simon, you're honestly, 2 up, but really if you think I'm right, support. comment below. Let us know exactly who you think has won, and I'm going to tally it, and we'll do an <laughs> announcement next week. Thank you all so much for watching this video. 